thousands of select guests had the opportunity to experience a sneak peek of the Cora Gables Museum facilities during an event organized by the Cora Gables Chamber of Commerce. Participants were invited to a guided tour through the building, experiencing firsthand the final stage of some of the exhibition gallery rooms, meeting rooms, the courtyard, terraces, and other beautiful spaces that are ready and shining for its grand opening coming up October 2010. We're almost finished with construction, you know, we're 99.9% .9 finished with construction, but we can be in here and show the people the building and get them real interested for uh, our October opening. But you know, people are just so excited to see what's been under construction for really just such a long time. I mean, really years. It's been over two years under construction. It, but it's a historic building, so you have to go very slowly, you have to go very carefully. You can't rush it. You have to uh, make sure you're doing preservation work while at the same time you're doing construction work. Although the museum does not have any exhibitions just yet, participants were amazed just by the look of its magnificent structure and design. The Cora Gables Museum is a beautiful green construction of over 24,000 square feet located at the original site where the first Cora Gables police and fire stations were located. The Cora Rock building underwent through an extensive restoration and its additions were carefully planned to go according to its original Mediterranean look. Uh, all of that needed to be preserved and it's a very porous material so it, it, it takes in a lot of moisture and even seeds and plants were growing in it so it had to be carefully cleaned. Now people think we, we uh, 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 scrubbed it or power washed it. It was done by hand. Guys that were we're cleaning it with uh, calcium chloride and other coral, pushing it in, cleaning it, and filling in the gaps with, uh, with limestone. So it was, a, it was every surface that was from 1939 was hand cleaned and hand restored. The Cora Gables Museum will have over nine exhibition galleries that will exclusively dedicate to show collections of the early Gables, including memorabilia, photographs, and history. It will also have several meeting rooms that will be available for private events. As a matter of fact, there are already several events, including weddings, that are already being booked. We're going to be available for rentals, for private parties, and for social events, and for uh, uh, all types of people to use. And yes, we've already got a number of them scheduled uh, for using the, the facility. And I think this is going to be a, a, a really uh, an, a place that people will want to come to especially in the, first, in the next six months when we're just brand new and open and they'll want to have the, one of the first parties here and really take advantage of, of, uh, of the place. If you look at the outside, it was an incredible restoration of the original building. If you look inside, they brought some modern comfort touches in which will make people feel at home and make them want to come here and make them want to hold their functions here and come see the exhibits and so forth. So it's a great combination. The Cora Gables Museum is an exceptional place that needed an exceptional date for its grand opening. It's, it's really simple. If we're going to open on 10-10-10, which is Sunday, October 10th, 2010, at 10-10 10, 10 in the morning, and uh, we're going to close at 10-10 10, 10 p.m. that night. So we're going to be open for 12 hours, and we're going to have a big community festival. We're having all of our community partners, cultural partners, are, are going to be here and help us out. It'll be a day long of just, you know, loving Coral Gables. Every, and it's going to be free. Everybody's invited to, the, to our opening day. Reporting for What's Happening Coral Gables, Diana Herrera.